Hey now, welcome to Papa Podcasts. I'm your host, Mr. P. Today we have a very special podcast. Uh, it comes in the form of a, another student request. And this comes from PG Drama Queen 37 from the US. And she writes, can you please help me out with the Vesper theory? How can I memorize all the angles and shapes? There isn't really a shortcut to it. But um, with the next couple of lessons, it's a multi-step um, process. I will go through all the different rules um, as well as all the different shapes and help you create a, um, a study guide that will enable you to take any problem that you're given and identify the shapes. Now what I've listed over here is for the, the introduction to the Vesper theory is to start doing any of your diagrams, you need to follow one of these three steps. You need to be able to identify the valence electrons. And we said in one of my videos, the valence electrons can be found by taking the group number 1 through 18, but we're looking at groups 1 and 2. Once you move across the set of transition metals and group, move over to group 3 or 13, you can take the number 13 and just take the 1 out. That tells you that we have three valence electrons, four or five, right till eight valence electrons, with the exception of helium. But uh, check out my video on electron dot diagram, and that will help you identify the, um, the the number of valence electrons and and what are the tips on the periodic table. But moving on, once you know the valence electrons, you need to be able to draw an electron dot diagram of your arrangement. And here I have the letters A X N, and what this means is a is your central atom. So an example, as we have down here, we have CH4. Here's our central atom, and we have four hydrogens circling around it. We have another example, H2O. Oxygen is our central atom, and we have two hydrogens that circle around it. And so whenever we have these arrangements, and we're looking at our simpler models, we have one central atom. So that's going to be your hint when you look at um, the actual molecule arrangement in terms of a, a chemical formula. Look for the individual, the single atom in your compound. That will be your hint for your uh, central atom. The next step is to identify the number of regions of high electron density. How do you do that? Well, the, there are two, two things. You're looking for the number of bonds from the central atom, and it's the central atom that is where you look at. The central atom. From the central atom, look at how many single, double, or triple bonds form with that single. And so we have one double bond here, one double bond here, which gives us two regions of high electron density. If we look over with oxygen, oxygen has one, two single bonds, but it also has one, two lone pairs of uh, electrons circling around it, this central atom. So in other words, we have one, two, three, four regions of high electron density. So remember, it's not just the single, double, and triple bond, but it's also the unshared pairs of electrons that circle around the central atom. And when this last example, our central atom is carbon, we have one, two, three, four single bonds circling around it, which means that we have four regions of high electron density. So those are the keys to pretty much being able to identify what shape in terms of the Vesper theory will allow you to identify each one of your, your atoms and each one of your molecules that you'll be drawing. So stay tuned for the next video, next part, that will look at the different shapes. Thank you for watching.